Now we are going to look at the Terraform commands in detail. This section is divided into two different parts. In the part one, we are going to look at some of the basic commands like Terraform init, Terraform plant, Terraform apply, validate and destroy. We have already seen about some of these commands, but we are going to look at some of the more details or the additional parameter which can be used with these commands. So I'll navigate back to my Visual Studio code and we will demonstrate all these commands parameters over. If I run terraform init dash h which is for help then you will get the help up around your terraform init command and one of the important factor which we have found is about terraform initializing the backend uh, configurations with the help of init. So in the previous section we have seen that how you can configure the remote backend for your state file right so this is where we have defined the remote backend here in this particular section but if you don't want to define the remote backend here what you can do is you can just remove it from here for example now let me comment this out and you can run the command terraform backend command for example like this here this again terraform init and then backend config which is another attribute and then you can specify the uh, attribute like terraform you can specify the attributes like story account uh, name resource group name and things like that so the entire command will look like this so here with the help of terraform command we are specifying the keys this is how you can use the terraform initialization now let's look at uh, some of the ex example about terraform plan so if I search the help for Terraform plan, so Terraform plan can be used uh, with the various options. For example, uh, if I would like to see the plan, what if I would like to destroy the, uh, the infrastructure and I want to see if I am going to destroy uh, infrastructure, how, or how many number of resources it's going to destroy and what will be the plan look like so you can run the terraform plan with the destroy option so if i pass the argument destroy then this will generate the overall plan uh, with the destroy option and it will show this is uh, the destroy look like as you can see yeah, this is just a plan this is not actually executed but the plan is showing uh, it's going to destroy two resources and these are the resource detail which is it is going to destroy Apart from that, you can use, uh, you can pass the uh, values like parallelism. So parallelism is just to specify how many number of resources parallelly Terraform can create or destroy. But default value of that is 10. So at max 10 resources, it can be parallelly handled. Hand you can refresh the Terraform plan with the refresh attribute. You can also use the Terraform plan state file. Uh, and then we provide the state file location. Uh, we can specify the Terraform variables like this. If you would wish to pass the any variables, we have already seen how we have specified the variable files when we run the Terraform the Terraform files, right? If you do not pass the variable, this is the these are the two things, uh, two file types which it will look for to set up the variable values. Okay. Now, uh, one of the best thing which I have seen about the uh, Terraform plan is the target resource. So let's say we have the we have changed two things or two we have changed two resources. So we have changed the tags to tags, for example. I wish I think we have a variable declare as a tag. Let me see that. If not, we will declare a variable called tag. We would like to declare the variables. This is our variable uh, which we have declared. So let's say we would like to set the variable in the in these two resource, resource number one resource group and uh, storage account. But due to some reason, let's say we would like to deploy only changes only for one specific resource type then what we can do here is you can use the terraform target resource target type target attribute target 
and then tell the name of the attribute so for example this is the name of the attribute which i would like to run the plan on so if i do so then this will show the plan only for that particular resource and it will not show the plan for any other resource such as in this case it will not show the plan for the story account uh, if i see the plan which is executed successfully this is what it's trying to do so it's going to create a new resource because we are saying okay this is the resource group it's it will create recreate because the values of the so this is how you can use the uh, terraform target command uh, terraform plan command with target now let's look at the terraform apply command and its attribute similar to the plan we can have the uh, same apply command can be used to generate the uh, 